matter how big or small your business is, we can help. Email us at advertise at GCNlive.com and an experienced advertising executive will help you take the first step towards driving more customers to your business or website. Advertise at GCNlive.com. Easy, affordable, effective. The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Have you ever noticed how many sick and miserable people there are? I'm serious. I'm talking about people of all ages who have conditions and diseases which affect their quality of life. Most of them seem to have one thing in common, polypharmacy. That is dependence on multiple prescription drugs with side effects that actually make them sicker and sicker, not healthy. The good news is that people are waking up to the fact that if you supply your body with all of the nutrients it requires, you will feel better, be healthier, and have a better life. It's important to know that Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the the most amazing, great-tasting, comprehensive nutritional supplement. Besides supplying all the vitamins our bodies need, it also supplies the necessary minerals that are required for the vitamins to kick in. Look, folks, I'm hooked on it, and I think if you try it, you'll become hooked. This stuff really works. That's why I'm urging you to make it part of your daily health regimen. Visit InfoWarsTeam.com to secure your canister of Beyond Tangy Tangerine today. Sign up for auto ship and save on shipping costs. That's Beyond Tangy Tangerine at InfoWarsTeam.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, Legal Shield's law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. G.C. Back to World Crisis Radio, uh, the question now of, uh, of Syria and Turkey once again from a slightly different point of view. In the past week, we have had Iran bombing the ISIS terrorists, and I think civilization, humanity, owes a vote of thanks to Iran. Iran says, you terrorists, don't get within 25 miles of our border or we'll blow you to kingdom come, and that's undoubtedly a plus. I think this ought to lead to some people rethinking their uh, sort of Pavlovian uh, anti-militarist reactions. I'm afraid sometimes you do have to do this stuff. Hitler was one. This, this seems to be another one. So Iran has bombed ISIS in Iraq. And Syria, the Syrian Arab Army Air Force, is bombing ISIS in the region of Kobane. So essentially, whether you like it or not, it's a united front of the United States with Iran and with Syria against ISIS. That is reality. 
and whether the uh, humanitarian bombers, the Susan Rice people, or the Samantha Power people uh, don't, uh, if they don't like that, that is, uh, that's too bad for them. Um, Assad has also said that the U.S. attacks are not effective, right? So he's needling the U.S. Why don't you do more? Indeed, why don't you do more? A thousand airstrikes over a period of uh, four to six or eight weeks? That's totally inadequate. And the other big thing now, the hand that held the dagger has plunged it into the back of its neighbor. And that's Erdogan once again. Uh, last weekend, in the neighborhood of Kobane, we have very well-documented, uh, photographed, uh, filmed event in which the Turkish army, under the orders of er Erdogan and Davut Tolu, allows ISIS killers to come onto Turkish territory to start attacking the Kurds in Kobane. And this is another outrage and this Erdogan has gone too far, he will have to be called to account. This cannot coexist with NATO or anything else, and his, his spouting this stuff about how the West doesn't understand the Middle East, but apparently he does. No, I'm sorry, you don't, because you're supporting ISIS. The Kurds, of course, called attention to this. You, could, you found it on the Twitter feed of Tarpley, Webster G. Tarpley. The problem was, as the Kurds Previously, they'd been surrounded on three sides, right? East, west, and south. But now, thanks to Erdogan, they can also be surrounded on the north with terrorist ISIS crazies, killers, butchers, operating from Turkish territory. So this cannot be allowed. Now, the Turkish government denies it. That's ridiculous. Um, there's also a question about... Uh, is it possible to negotiate for uh, terrorists, uh, with terrorists, to try to get their kidnap victims out? But the first problem, as we've pointed out with all these cases, is the people that are in the control of ISIS got there on their own, right? Who, in God's name, told you to go there and minister to the needs of the Free Syrian Army, the Nusra Brigade, Al-Qaeda, or ISIS? Um, people who get themselves into these predicaments, uh, I think it would be time for the State Department to e escalate its warning, don't go there, dear Americans. However, once they're in, uh, in custody, I would just cite the advice of Cardinal Richelieu, one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Cardinal Richelieu has a very interesting paragraph, and it's very meaty and to the point. And he says, I always recommend negotiating with everybody all the time. He says, I negotiate with them, whether there's hope for a settlement or no hope, that doesn't matter to me. I always learn more, I'm always stronger and better if I keep negotiating with those people. So I would negotiate with anybody, I would not be afraid, right? Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. That would be the uh, the summary on that one. And we also have Mubarak. Um, Mubarak, not guilty. <laughs> the... Uh, Thermidor, according to some, has now arrived for this idiotic farce of the Arab Spring. There never was a revolution, people. I put out the criteria at the time. Revolution means abolish slavery, break a foreign protectorate, as Nasser did in the, in the 50s, um, overthrow a monarchy, uh, tremendous, you know, deep economic reforms like the New Deal, and again, abolish slavery certainly counts. There never was a Tahrir revolution. That was a petty bourgeois pipe dream of petty bourgeois showboaters and ego trippers. It never happened. Uh, and Mubarak, um, I, I, it's not clear to me how you're going to put Mubarak uh, in in the pillory. The 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 point is that under, New, under Mubarak there was some recognizable form of civilization, right? You can call it a dictatorship, sure. A military dictatorship. But is that the worst? Look over in Libya and you'll see something that's much, much worse. So 
Mubarak um, is obviously at the end of his career, but when it comes to General Sisi, I would say to people, especially the ultra-lefts, mushheads, left liberals and others, open your eyes to the fact that Sisi has been the salvation of Egypt, which is why U.S. Ambassador Patterson, who's now been promoted to Assistant Secretary of State for the Middle East, and others have tried to destabilize Egypt with the help of the Muslim Brotherhood. There's a worldwide alliance between the Muslim Brotherhood and the Central Intelligence Agency, and that is to destroy civilization. ISIS, of course, the negation of civilization. Uh, today on National Public Radio, they were talking about, well, uh, oh, they're so sophisticated this woman, Labat, the uh, CNN editor, uh, always says how sophisticated those ISIS guys are. But with those websites, um, we do have to ask, National Security Agency, with all the nefarious abilities to shut down websites, how come you allow ISIS websites to get up there so that the poor, duped, alienated young characters in Europe and elsewhere can be brainwashed by ISIS. And then there's, there, there were three or four callers today on National Public Radio uh, attacking Islam, and I think this is very, very misleading. Remember, uh, when Turkey was freed from the Sultan, they put Ataturk into power. Ataturk, Mustafa Kemal Ataturk was a modern, modernizing, secular, military man interested in national progress, right? And he had the, not Sharia law, but the Code Napoleon for the criminal side and the Swiss Civil Code for the civil side. And he was followed then by people like President Nasser of Egypt, Colonel Gaddafi of Libya, the Assad dynasty, if you want, in Syria, fine. General Qasem in Iraq, an unsung figure, I think, of great merit. Arafat among the Palestinians. Bourguiba for the Tunisians, Many interesting insights, and people like Ben Bella and Boumedien on the Algerian side. You notice there are no religious fanatics among that group. Um, when the Arabs could choose, they tended to choose secular, modernizing, military, populists with an economic program, bread subsidies, fuel subsidies, cooking oil subsidies, things like this. That's the heart of the matter of the of the Arab world. Uh, Nasserism is, was, and I think will be for the for future. Nasserism is represented by CC, by rep represented to some extent by Bashar. That is the road of Middle Eastern uh, progress, at least among the Arabs and uh, and perhaps beyond. Back in a minute on World Crisis Radio. Again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. Mom, I can't do my math homework. I just don't get it. I hate math. <sighs> I've always tried to be a good mother, but when it came to Jamie's math, I was at a loss. Then a friend told me about Math Made Easy DVDs. Concepts are simplified in an easy way to follow and review, and students can learn at their own pace in the convenience of home. Listen, in the frustration, call Math Made Easy. Call now, 1-800-USA-MATH. That's 1-800-872-6284. Or visit us at mathmadeeasy.com. 
This holiday season, give the gift that keeps on giving, an in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. With your very own freeze dryer, you'll be able to freeze dry the food your family loves. Because we live in uncertain